So now he has caused a fatality and one that's in critical condition. Watch. Behind, after a semi-truck heading south down this two-lane road rolled over, dumping its load onto five other cars. A driver died. Another was seriously injured. Were you guys here when that crash happened? We heard it in our house. What did it sound like? The loudest poop I've ever heard. Now, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement is confirming the driver of the semi is in America illegally. Officials say 47-year-old Ignacio Cruz Mendoza is from Mexico, and he has been on ICE's radar for decades. ICE first became aware of him when he was arrested in Oregon on drug charges roughly 22 years ago. A judge ordered he be taken back to Mexico. Since then, Cruz Mendoza has been removed from the United States or voluntarily returned to Mexico 16 times. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's that allowed? We wanted to know the same thing, so we called the trucking company's number several times, but didn't get an answer. Records show the company has had more inspection violations than normal for a company within the last two years. A theme echoed in Cruz Mendoza's arrest affidavit. The document indicates one state trooper found three violations where drivers did not have a commercial motor vehicle driver's license. It also says one state trooper noticed the annual inspection sticker on the cab of the semi was from 2020. And one driver involved in the crash says the semi was going approximately 60 to 80 miles per hour. Almost like it was a raceway. When you're in the mountains, it's a different thing. Cruz Mendoza is still in Jefferson County Jail. He is facing several charges, including vehicular homicide. So who is this trucking company? I mean, there's rules and regulations and stuff, and who's doing the inspection? What is he running? Is this a cover for this company? Are you doing nefarious things like human trafficking, drug trafficking? Are you doing something like that? And who's being paid to let these violations be swept under the rug? You know how they say, crime is down. Really? Administration. The, and the headline of it says the FBI new crime report is in, but it's incomplete. If you scroll down here and you read what they have to say, it says around 2015 and 2016, which was under the Obama administration, the FBI decided that by 2021, they would retire the old system entirely and only accept data through the new system. So they would provide the nation with data with a lot more granularity in detail and allow us to see what's really happening. But unfortunately, what happened as a result, 40% of the agencies did not make the switch, so they could not report their data to the FBI, which means they're going with a completely incomplete data set. You will see from earlier in this part of the article, it says specifically New York and LA didn't report at all. Maybe, maybe. You want to know what the crime statistics are in the two largest cities in the country to get some type of idea of what is really happening in America in terms of violent crime. So next time you hear Democrats talk about it, point to this video and say this is exactly why the data show that violent crime is down. So 40% of you agencies are not reporting, didn't even switch over. So how can you state with your little freaking statistics that crime is down and illegals aren't doing as much crime because you're covering for them is what you're doing? Boy, if these, these states would report and switch over to this, go figure. Obama wanted it switched over and implemented by 2021. Get the picture. Country crazy out.